Hello and thank you for joining me. This is Vivian Thurman. This is our final segment. This will be about 20 minutes of weight training, muscle sculpting, muscle toning. I've got some 10 pound weights here ready for me to hold on to so we can start with some squats and some lunges. About 20 minutes total, which will include a little weight training, total body, including some abdominals when we get down on the floor. As soon as we finish the abdominal section, we'll do some stretching and we'll call it a class. Ready? All right, grab your hand weights. If you've got some heavy weights or some lighter weights, it doesn't matter, just hold on to something. Working on a squat technique, I'll turn sideways so you can see that my hips are going back. Like I'm about to sit in a chair. I'll come up to standing. And with the music, take four beats. Down, two, three, and four, rise up. Have your weights in front of you or just beside you, but mostly in front. And come to standing. As soon as you feel comfortable, a little faster, just one, two, and rise. Now I have my weight concentrated back on my heels as I sit back. My toes are light. As I face the front, you can see my feet are parallel. My knees are parallel with each other. And my arms are also parallel. Take those two beats, one, two, and rise. Two more, one, two. Come down and stay down for a moment and you can add some bicep curls. These are 10 pound weights, so don't expect me to do a whole bunch. If you've got lighter weights, you can carry your arms a little more forward in front of you. Back to the two count squat, one, two, rise up, two. Here's one, two. Concentrate on being heavy back in your heels. Pull your abdominals in and keep your chest lifted. Down and stay down, and three bicep curls. You got it. Squat, two beats, one, two. Standing, one, two. Draw those shoulders back each time. Shoulders back, last one, stay. Bicep curl. And last one. Come all the way up to standing. Here you can turn the feet outward. We often call this the sumo wrestler stance or ballet second position. Taking two counts down, two counts up. One, two. Make adjustments as necessary, opening the feet wider, or maybe you open too wide. Have my hand weights in front so I can look as if I'm lifting them up to the collarbones. One, two. Up, two. One, two. One, two, up. Yes, I've got weight in the heels. Staying down. Arms only, upright row. Two counts down for two, squat, squat. And upright row. One, two, upright row. Squat, two, pull, lift, squat. I think you got it. Stay down this time, arms only. That combination again, two count squat, and then rise with the upright row. Two count squat, rise. One, two, up. One, two, down and stay down. Whoa, this starts to get a little heavy, right? Upright row, work the upper back, Let's do a few more. Four, three, two. Come all the way up to standing. Release the hips or shoulders if necessary. I am simply turning by pivoting on my foot and turning to face the side. Because I have heavy weights, I'll just keep them down, arms down and in my hands. As I ratchet myself down a little deeper and a little lower, notice how close my knee is coming toward the floor. Four, three, Two, come through the center, facing the front. Careful not to slip, you might be on a floor that's slippery or carpet with socks. Yeah, careful, down. Sinking a little deeper yet. Four, three, two, center again. Make those adjustments through the feet. Make it a little bit more comfortable or accessible. Continue to the side. This time, as I get down, I'm gonna stay low 
arms in front, shifting my weight forward and gliding this foot in and out. Notice I keep my front leg stationary. In, back, in, back. This requires some balance, a little bit of control here, don't fall. Just two more. The leg stays back. You shift your weight, stay heavy, challenge your thighs, shift to the other side, make adjustments, and remain calm when you arrive. Weights in front, transfer from here, in, out. Now the exercise looks like it's for this front leg, but really it's challenging the stamina of the bent knee. Try to square off your shoulders so you're not too twisted. Sink a little deeper here. Four more. Three more. Here's two. On the last one, keep it back in tiny pulses as you shift again to the center. This time, turning my toes and knees forward. Sink and rise. Sink, rise. We'll do a few more of these fairly standard squats. I am sending my tail back and I am heavy on my heels. This is a wide stance. Close the legs any way you want to go. My knees are parallel and my knees point forward, as do my toes. Four more. It's a lot of squats, huh? Two more, I'm counting, down and stay down. Now, while I've got weights in my hand, they're not just sitting on my lap. My arms go forward, forward. It's a light, short swing. Four more, four, three, come all the way upright to standing. We've done quite a variety now of squats and lunges. We did wide turnout and parallel. The last section I'd like to get in is the curtsy. So while I am facing the front and I have squared off, my left leg has crossed behind. Both knees are bent. I'll sink and ratchet down a little lower using just four more, four, three, two, feet together here, four, three, cross that other leg back, curtsy lunge, square off the shoulders, four, three, parallel feet, face the front, four, heavy on the heels, cross, curtsy, be sure to shift some weight on that back leg, four, curtsy, and be sure to shift some weight on that back leg, center here, four, three, Cross back, make sure you've got some weight on that back leg. Together, here's four. Cross, curtsy, four. One more set, I think, four. Last time here, four. Knees together here. Notice I have not stood up straight. Here's that cross, last leg. Center, give me all you got, the best. All the way upright straight. Woo! Now, if you've got lighter weights, you're going to want to put one on the floor on one side and then come to the other and place your weight down on the floor on the other side of the mat. I'll be standing on this end with my goal to get down to that end. I'll stand with both feet closed. Take a moment to assess your posture, shoulders back. It's sort of a Pilates moment as you acknowledge your body's posture. Draw your chin to your chest and begin melting down. Avoid looking at me. You can continue sinking and melting and finally arrive so you can shake out your arms and your head. Slowly start walking yourself forward and arrive in your plank position. Slow push-ups, take your time. Now those of you who know that your push-ups should be done on your knees, you take that option. If you prefer, you can do the straight legs. If you prefer, you can do the wide open arms. This is number four, trying not to move too fast. Here's number five. Here's six. Here's seven. Eight is my goal, so give me one more. When you arrive, knees down. Take a moment when you sit back and rest. Sit so heavy back on your heels. Woo! Come on up to seated. 
What I want to do is a forearm plank combination, and your hand weight there, one on each side, will be handy. Let me just give you a brief fast forward of what will come next. Side plank, optional hand weight, optional tricep extension, return to regular plank. And then we'll repeat, of course, the same on the other side. Forearm plank is the preference. You can do it on your knees or on your toes. Are you ready? Come with me. Forearm plank. Manage your pelvis. Concentrate on alignment. Be sure that your weight is evenly distributed, left and right. We'll count this out for another four more counts. Make sure you're breathing. Four, three, two. Now turn to face me so you can see. I remain on two feet. The hand weight is optional. Now my 10 pounder is a little heavy, but I'm sure you've got lighter weights. Maybe you have a couple of cans of soup or some bigger cans, and you're doing about eight to 10 tricep extensions. I'll be lucky if I get six. <laughs> so here's my last one. Careful when you place the weight down, try not to scratch the floor, and return to your plank. Make adjustments and then assess, assess your head, neck, and shoulders, assess ribs, ab ab abdominals, and hips, all the way down to legs. I'm ready to roll to the other side. Can we do it seamlessly? All right, organize your legs and feet, pick up your hand weight, your tricep extension. For those of you with the lighter weights, you're gonna give me eight or 10 of those. This is my three, here's my four, here's my five. I've got six, but I can do one more. Place the weight down easy and return to plank. From here, my legs will open, open, close, close, open, open, close, close. This is not meant to be done fast, and just as a note, I'm using the foot closer to the camera. Change legs, the other foot goes first. Open, open, close, close, open, open. Close, close, open, open, close, close. Last one. Close and knees down, sit back and rest, rest. You can find the most comfortable position with your arms in front or wrap your arms around your legs. Come on up to seated. We've done some great leg work when we were standing and doing lunges and squats. We did some abdominal work there, but we've got more to do. Let's come to a seated position, bringing your feet in front. If you are fortunate enough to have a towel here, bring it for your head, and I'm moving one of my 10 pound weights so it's closer to my hips. I'll be using one of my heavier weights. Please bring your feet near the end of the mat, and we will do Pilates roll down and roll up. Roll down. Your arms continue back and beyond your head. Raise your arms and roll up. Feel free to grab your thighs if necessary. I know it helps. Coming backward, the same. Holding on to the backs of your thighs to prevent falling. Here's inhale. Raise your arms and roll up. Pull your abdominals in and arrive. This will be the last one. As I roll back, I will not bring my arms over my head. Simply put your arms down by your side. Now, if you have that towel, you can adjust it so that placing it underneath your head or have your heavy weight or light weights and bring them to your hips. Bridging is next. Bridging will include pelvic thrusts and having that extra weight there will help to challenge those gluteus maximus muscles. Feet firmly flat on the floor, not too wide. Hold on to the weights, of course. As you exhale, peeling the pelvis. Make some minor adjustments if necessary. If you can hear the rhythm in the music, I hear pump, pump. As I pump my pelvis a little higher and a little tighter through the buttocks. I am holding the weights lightly, just lightly enough so they don't come rolling down into my teeth. Four, three, two, and take your time as you roll down. Make sure that you're doing the proper breathing. Let's repeat, plant your feet, Exhale, peeling up. The second one feels so much better than the first one. Continue pumping up. Now, I am concentrating to stand heavier in the heels. Heavy through the heels. Four, three, two, 
Take your time as you manage, softening the neck and throat, and arrive softly. Bring your feet in just a little bit closer, not closed, and repeat the bridging exercise. With my pelvis in the up and lifting position, I can attempt to straighten one leg. This leg extended from the knee. This means I'm pressing heavily on the other foot. Here I am, four more, three more, two. Bend your knee. I would come all the way down. Settle the pelvis. Plan ahead, other leg. We're starting on two feet, and when you arrive, you can start that rhythm in the pelvis. My second leg is ready to go. I simply extend it from the knee, and then from here, eight, seven, six, five, up, oh, four more, three more, two, and then put your feet down, and you arrive down. Take your time. I'm going to put my weights away so that I can do at least two more bridging, two more bridging with arms. When I'm ready, I exhale to lift. Arms and hips are traveling back. Now, we don't have any resistance, but you can imagine squeezing a ball between your thighs. Imagine that you're squeezing a ball between your thighs a few more times, all the while keeping your gluteus maximus contracting. I'm doing about four, three, two, pause, and begin to melt down. As you arrive, you can rest now completely. Draw the knees into your chest. We did some fantastic bridging with the additional challenge of hand weights on the hips, and then we took it to a whole other level doing single leg bridging. I'm hoping that you're stretching your gluteals now. Straighten one leg up toward the ceiling. And for those of you with really tight hamstrings, you know you can use your towel as an option. When you open up that towel, you can place it just at the arches of your shoes. Here's the inhale, knee bend, and exhale, leg straighten, which I can repeat a few more times. On the very last one, pull the extended leg, acknowledge that you're stretching as best you can. Straighten out that other leg now on the floor. Feel for the lengthening, it might be a struggle, Concentrate and give it some heat as you self-massage and generate some heat. Same here, of course, you can self-massage and generate some heat. I'm going to bend the knee and bring it in closer to the chest. Bring that second knee in and then switch. I started by planting this foot on the floor and just concentrate on what can you do here to improve the flexibility of this leg. How about you breathe, inhale, and use the exhale to straighten. Once more, inhale, and use the exhale to straighten. Just two more here. Hold that leg out straight and lengthen. We're not quite done yet. I wanted to get these leg stretches in. We still have just a short section of abdominals just to be sure we get some actual literal contraction instead of just leaving us with the planks that we did earlier. Breathe. Generating some heat here, or generating some heat here. Now, bring both knees into your chest and remove your towel. I'm gonna ask you to straighten one leg away and lift your head and shoulders. You might recognize this exercise. When you're ready to begin, exchange the leg. Now be sure that you're really stretching that leg away and not simply flicking it away. Don't throw your leg away. Continue about eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Challenge yourself. Hands support the hip. Add the twist. As you twist, one shoulder blade lifts, lifts off the floor. Add that rotation with lift. Lift, lift, lift. How about four more? Four. Now, stop on the one and center yourself. Straight leg, flex ankles. Switch, catch, pull. Switch, catch, pull. Every time you exchange legs, bear down in your gut. This doesn't have to be fast, but you can feel multiple benefits. Strengthening the neck, strengthening the abdominals, improving the flexibility, and improving your timing and coordination. Here's the last two, and last one. Rest, head down. 
Turn your head sideways and take your time stretching those neck muscles. The other side, stretch the neck muscles. When you return to center, hands at your thighs so you can rock and roll several times. Round like a ball. Be sure that you're rounding along the back. Here's my last one. When you arrive, do try to sit up straight. You can plant your feet on the floor and then straighten out the legs. We've already done some great stretching for the hamstrings when we pull one leg at a time. Now, we're going to bend forward and let gravity pull us down. Stretch the low back. Hold on to the ankles or your shoes or your toes and pull, pull gently. Bring your head with you. This is called forward fold. Come all the way upright to seated. Sit comfortably and bring one arm across your chest. A standard upper back and shoulder stretch. When you bring the arm behind your head, reach down like you're trying to scratch that, that dry spot in the middle of your back. Hang on to your elbows and then, as I attach my arm to my head, I lean away. Ooh, I feel it. Return and release and other arm across the chest. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hand down the back. I'm really trying to scratch that funny little dry patch in the middle of my back. When my arm attaches to my head, I lean away. Don't hold your breath. Come up to seated, please, and then interlace your fingers behind your back. As your arms get longer and straighter behind you, you can lift your face. More importantly, lower your face. Chin to your chest and feel for that stretch in the base of your neck. Free your hands and big inhale up. First exhale, and then one last time. Big inhale up. And as you exhale, whoo, let it all go. And in fact, you can give yourselves a round of applause or a great big hug, since no one will hug you <laughs> during this pandemic. So as I close, I want to thank you for joining me. My name is Vivian. I am teaching at Foundation Fitness Cleveland Park. You just concluded the 20 minute muscle toning weight training portion, which included some abs and some stretching at the end. I hope to see you soon. Please come back so you can join us in class and I can say hello and thank you personally. Again, it's Vivian from Foundation Fitness and I'm signing off. Thanks again.